All right, in this uh, tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to work with the lookup and reference functions. And let me demonstrate this by going on my ribbon here. So there's a lookup and reference button. If I click on the drop down arrow, I notice there are several formulas that we can work with within this particular category. Okay, so we're going to look at the VLOOKUP. And let me open up here by going to my file menu. And let me go to my computer here, data files. And then let's see if I can find my sample data file here. And I'm going to open this sample workbook. And this is just a sample workbook. It has an ID column, order date, region, rep, item units, the cost, and then the total. Okay, so this is basically a sales order workbook and filled with sample data. And I have about 44 rows. All right, and the columns are, uh, let's say, if I go column wise, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So a total of eight columns from A to H, and then uh, 44 rows. Okay, so just give you an idea of this particular workbook. All right, great. So let's first, uh, let me demonstrate how to work with the VLOOKUP. So let's go to the formulas directly. And then let me bring up the, well, before I actually do this, make sure my cursor is or my selected cell is where I would like the results to be. Okay, so this is the first step. I can either build the formula directly in the formula bar, uh, but first let me demonstrate by going to the lookup and reference and bringing up the lookup here. So what this lookup formula does is it looks up a value either from a one row or one column range or from an array. Okay, so you can either select a single column, row, or a bunch of uh, rows and columns or combination of them. Okay, um, so this is a plain lookup. The V lookup, scroll down here, which is the vertical lookup, looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. So by default, the table must be sorted in ascending order. So here's the difference between the simple lookup and then the V lookup. So I'm going to start with the V lookup first. Okay. All right. First, make sure our uh, cell is selected because this is where our results are going to be displayed. And once that's done, let's go up to the lookup and reference button here. Or bring up our VLOOKUP. And what this does is simply looks for a value in the leftmost column of the table. So in this particular workbook, our leftmost column is the ID column. Okay. And then it would return a value in the same row from the column that you specify. Let me click on VLOOKUP. As soon as I do this, it brings up the function arguments dialog box and I can first specify the lookup value. So for instance, I want to look up the first value, which is the ID one here. And then uh, my table array, I'm going to select the entire table. So I'm going to go ahead and simply select a range. It's, the range is from cell A2 to H44. And then the third required parameter or the argument is the column index number. Okay, so let's scroll up on my workbook. All right, the column that I'm interested in finding is the uh, rep's name here. Okay, so it's one, two, three, and then column four. So if I just type four, notice the name is automatically displayed as a result. And I can have an optional uh, parameter assigned also, which is a range lookup which is simply true or false. So if it's true by default, if I don't have anything in here, it's going to be true. But if I want an exact match, so for instance, I'm looking for uh, the exact match for this particular column, I'm going to say false. Okay, so I'm going to type false. And the formula result is Jones. So click OK. And here's a simple VLOOKUP. Okay, and I can copy the formula down. You'll notice it'll have all the names displayed. And I can copy this further down here so we can have the entire list populated. Okay. Notice I, if I have the auto correction feature on, Excel is automatically going to fill up the entire column so I don't have to copy it. All right, so we have this simple lookup. And again, this is pretty straightforward. Let's take a step forward here. Okay, let's, uh, let's go further. I want to show you some advanced uh, tips. For example, here's our scenario. We want to find out and display in this particular column that Jones has sold 95 units or Jones has sold 95 pencils. How about that? Okay. What if we want to have this in our column instead of just saying Jones or do another lookup here? 
and then do another lookup we would just like to create a vlookup or a nested vlookup so once we create nested lookup what that would do is simply look up the value here for the rep column and then look up the value in the pencils in the item column and then the units column and it's going to combine or concatenate all these three columns into a single column and display the result in a user friendly manner so it's going to be something like, or right, here's a goal, I'm going to type this here, simply just text, Jones has sold 95 units. Here's our goal. Let me make it a little bigger here. Okay, Jones has sold 95 units. Great. So this is what we want. We want to display Jones has sold 95 units in this particular cell using the VLOOKUP function. Awesome, let's do this. So we have our first VLOOKUP, which is pretty straightforward. We did that. Already, it's VLOOKUP and then the row A2, and then our range, which is the entire table, and then the fourth column, which is one, two, three, and then four, which is the rep column. And that's how we got to Jones. And then, then false means we want to have an exact map. Great. Let me go to my formula bar here and let's build the next aspect of our, which is has sold 95 units. Okay. So, in other words, Notice, in order to type text within your formula, remember the ampersand, uh, ampersand I showed you in the previous tutorials. Simply type the and sign, and then some space, and then we're going to say something like has sold. All right, then we're going to do another VLOOKUP. So I'm going to say VLOOKUP. Great. I'm going to have the same row, so I'm going to say A2, okay, because that's the same row we're interested in, which is the first row. And then comma, my table is going to be the same, same range, A2 to H44, okay? And again, you can always drag and use your mouse to reselect these rows, or you can type them directly within your formula. All right, next is comma again for my next parameter. And in this instance, I'm interested in the, so I've typed the has sold, okay, which is right here. So I have sold in quotations because that's only text. And then I'm going to do another lookup here. What am I looking for? I'm looking for 95. So the 95 is in this column F, which is column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So I'm going to go to my sixth column. So on my formula bar, I'm going to type 6, comma, and then I want an exact match. So I'm going to say false again and close my parentheses. Okay, great. So if I hit enter at this point, just to demonstrate, Okay, let's see. Let's fix our formula here. So I'm going to click OK. And let me just run down the formula one more time up on the formula bar and make sure all our parameters are correct. So I have my first VLOOKUP, which worked fine. And then I have my ampersand and then quotations, my text. And then OK. So I forgot another ampersand here, which is going to join, right? These two. And then my VLOOKUP one more time, which is the right column six. All right, great. So let's try it now. And awesome. So Jones has sold 95. Okay, so right now this formula has two lookup, two V lookups. And in between those V lookups, I simply have uh, certain text uh, in quotations and covered by the uh, ampersand on both sides. All right, great. So same thing. I can copy this formula down, all the way down to my last row. And it's going to display all these units. So the next rep is Kival has sold 50. All right, I forgot the units, right? So let's move on and make sure we have our units also listed. Okay, great. So let me select my first uh, cell here, which is I2. Jones has sold 95. Go up to my formula bar and let's continue building our formula. So we need another lookup because this time we need to also display the units which is again 95 and then notice we don't have a units so it's just going to be some text so i'm just going to type the ampersand again space and then my quotations and then my units close the quotation and hit enter and here you go okay so jones has sold 95 units and i can continue building on the formula so let's say if I want another uh, parameter, such as Jones has sold 95 units at this price. Okay, so with the, with the unit cost is $1.99. And then my total for Jones for the first rep here is 
five cents. So you get the idea, you can keep building the formula as you move along. So if I want like to say Jones has sold 95 units at this price, okay, I could simply go to my formula bar and just repeat the same steps. Continue on building another VLOOKUP. So let's do this quickly. So I'm gonna type an and sign this time and do my VLOOKUP. So it's VLOOKUP, my parentheses, a2 comma and then my range of my table a2 to h44 comma and then figure out my column here so it's column one two three four five six and column seven okay so go to my formula bar type seven and then my comma i want an exact match here close my parentheses and hit enter and notice you'll say jones has sold 95 units at 1.99 okay now i forgot the at i could type the word at also um, so i can simply go to my units and amend my formula and put a space here type at and hit enter and this time i was going to say the complete sentence jones has sold 95 units at 199 and i can simply copy this all the way down to my last row and my workbook is looking much better Bang. column here to fit the rows here great so i can type a title here sold by sales rep okay. and go to my format painter here and just simply make sure our column is complete okay so i hope this helps a vlookup which we did was from simple vlookup to multiple nested vlookups so this way it's, it's much more user friendly and you can build your workbooks accordingly and this will have a great impact on your presentations. So hopefully this helps. We took a look at in greater depth as far as the VLOOKUP function is concerned. Next, I'll demonstrate the HLOOKUP match and then the index formulas so that we're comfortable working with the lookup and reference functions. So let's take a look at the next set of formulas.